Hi, welcome to 100 days UI design series. Today is the day six in the challenge is to design a profile page. So let's start. First, we need to select frame and on the right side, let's choose the iPhone 14 presets. Okay, now let's rename this. Right side, let's add corner radius to 40 and it's time to add fill. So for the fill, we will use linear and for the first color, we'll type for the second color let's make it 100 percent and uh, so this is our color it's time to add color to our background so for this we need to select circle and uh, let's let's place it here something like this for the color we will use now let's add effect and choose layer blur we will type 200 to make it more soft and now let's double click to edit the intermode and uh, let's distort the shape and make it 50% or maybe 75% I think we, let's use 50% now let's create another shape in the bottom and for the color let also apply layer blur and make it 200 i think we will choose 150 or maybe 100 add a status bar and home indicator in our design so i have already these two elements so i will just copy and uh, paste it in my design and also the home indicator so let's align it to the bottom and center resize it to the artboard size okay so now let's add profile picture we need to draw a rectangle so let's select rectangle and just click so figma by default at 100 by 100 rectangle so we need it to make it 200 by 200 let's center align it and add roundness so let's see 32 by 32 and let's make it 100 percent smooth now we have added the profile picture shape so now it add profile pictures of in the plugins tab let's select pixel in the search just type paste and let's see if we can find some cool multicolor images yeah i think this is looking cool so let's use this picture so i will just click it and it places here in the shape okay so now we need to add a card so we can put name and personal info of the user so for this we need to select rectangle and just draw a random size card so now let's make it 393 and minus 40 so 20 on each side margin bring it to the front profile picture and now let round the corner to 32 let's duplicate this and the base copy let's remove the picture and make it slightly bigger now select both shape and uh, subtract let's place the picture select and go to plate and selection now let's select these two dots and make it round i think 10 is fine for the color let's select the base card and instead of solid we will use linear and for the first color stop let's use for the second color let's make it 100 percent now let's add username and uh, for the font let's choose poopins so let's use uh, semi bold i think medium is okay and 24 let's center line make it center place it on 40 i think 40 is okay for now let's make it white and for the subtext let's make it regular 14 make it 50 percent let's zoom in let's select both and right click add auto layout for the spacing let's use it also make it center and for the gap i 
think let's leave it 40 now add icons so let's create a rectangle and uh, make it 40 by 40 and let's use some roundness so i think 8 let's make it 100 percent smooth in line height make it auto so for the first icon i will choose youtube okay so let's make it one percent let's see if it's working and for the icon 75 percent let's remove this make it auto layout for this we can use it now copy the icon okay oh, sorry i forgot one thing let's make it duplicate and uh, try to make it 16 let's duplicate this four time okay let's add some spacing i think 32 is fine let's add auto layout and add 32 now just copy the icon i have already the icons for the youtube so let's place this icon here now let's copy another icon we have place the icon and i think if you can try for the icon this shared so let's see it's looking good and uh, for the text instead of white let's make it 50 percent or make it 75 percent and let's update the value 3.5k add navigation so for the tab bar navigation okay so let's select all these four items let's make it uppercase and let's make it 10 percent at auto layout right click at auto layout okay horizontal uh, let's add it let's see i think let's make it 24 center line let's make it 50 percent for the portos let's make it semi bold let's make it two percent make it center line let's select line okay now select this and go to the stroke color and uh, let's create gradient because we will use it multiple time so let's add it to our style now let's select all these four rectangles and uh, let's make it 100 percent for the fill let's use 10 percent add stroke and apply gradient let's drop the opacity of these so uh, for this we need to unlink and now let's reduce the opacity to make it 50 percent now add photo grid so for the photo grid let's select rectangle and let's make it 112 make it round 24 is fine and let's align this 24 let's see for center gap let's make it 16 so i think 16 is more so let's use it make it auto layout so sorry let's make it auto layout center and also add another column and also make it auto layout for the picture let's use pixels again okay so it's time to add uh, tab bar icons i have already these icons so i will just copy and paste it here now one thing let's add another ellipse let's make it 100 by 100 just to make it 40 i think 40 is small so let's make it bigger like 64 okay now let's select all these icons and uh, let's create auto layout now let's make it center 
let's align it now let's add stroke and make it big like 4 for now let's use inside for the photo we will copy this same photo So now let's create and uh, another circle and let's bring it to front center line and that is the circle so we can make paired effect let's create this and uh, let's duplicate this the second one let's make it 10% create this one and slightly bigger let's make it 5% let's bring this one to the front so it's look like this the profile picture now we need to create some shape in the background so for this we need select pen tool and let's create some shapes something like this remove uh, let's leave the fill color for the pale color let's make it sharp blue something like this and uh, let's remove this color and make it black for the blue also let's make it transparent and uh, for the border select the same blue but make it slightly more light and let's add effects inner shade and make it 20 percent y and for the blur let's use 50 percent and let's see let's make it 50 percent now let's duplicate this right click and select both group and cut now paste it inside the frame and uh, let's send it to bake duplicate it again let's select both shapes and uh, let's try some blending mode option okay so this was the today challenge profile page design and uh, hope you like the design and also the process and you have learned a lot new things if yes so please let me know in the comments